What is up, my friends? Good morning. It is an absolutely beautiful Mock Friday here in Arkansas. I just wanted to log in to let you know that I love you and I care about you and I'm thinking about you. And that, uh, well, you are a badass. Undisputable. Just be there. You see somebody who needs you? Fulfill that need if you can. If not, fulfill the need that you can fulfill. Somebody needs uh, a friend. There are all kinds of people who need friends. That was a Cadillac. <laughs> oh, good Lord. I'm going to get right into it this morning because... I mean, damn. <sighs> Yesterday was 9-11. Let me tell you where I was at. I just opened up my print shop. That day on 9-11, I met my youngest son's mother online again. Her and I went to high school together. Last night, she was texting me, telling me that uh, she had beat her husband and... Or her old man and he was drunk she was drunk and they arrested him after she said she beat him up <laughs> holy shit and she keeps texting me and asking me if my son loves her I mean she, these people all I can do is pray for her It's, it's it's hurtful to see someone going through that that you once cared about so much but I can't help her you got uh, AOC yesterday gaveling down Tom Holman Debbie Washerman Schultz saying that everything he's saying is basically a lie and not providing any evidence that what he said was a lie <laughs> so, you got uh, Nadler saying oh we're going to continue with our impeachment investigation they have not officially been pursuing any investigation there's no reason for them to pursue an impeachment investigation there are still people out there saying that I saw Tom uh, what is this guy's name with some Democrat put a uh, campaign ad up. He's saying that the Russian probe, the Mueller probe, uh, exposed, let me see, I won't get this right. He, the Mueller probe exposed cover-up and conspiracy and illegality, basically. And then he blamed it on the president. Well, all of that happened on, well, the upper echelon of the FBI and CIA and most likely in fact Obama and his cabinet because apparently they were getting daily updates on both campaigns turns out that this uh, asset that was in Russia is probably the one that made up all that shit about Trump in, in uh, Russia with uh, prostitutes peeing on him and uh, dumb shit. This president's kicking ass. This president's doing great. I made the mistake of getting back on Twitter. I don't know how long I'm going to do that. There's no intelligent conversation to be had on Twitter. All these people want to do is just fucking be assholes. They want to bird dog you instead of having a debate where they'll learn something, when they figure out that you know more about it than them, they just say something smart ass, put a meme up, and block you. Ridiculous. So I don't know if I'll be on Twitter anymore. It's now kind of obvious what uh, YouTube is doing to uh, my channel. 
and they're being called out on that too so we'll see if uh, anything changes with that but they uh, last week every video I put up was stricken except for the one about the motorcycle this week every video I put up I mean they even did one talking about spread love and positivity that was the that was the title of the video and they struck it now they only struck it for about six hours this time so they're watching my channel somebody is watching my channel but if i put up a video that says impeach trump which was the the two titles of the videos i put up today or this week both of them had impeach 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 those videos got twice as many views because of the algorithm they're actually showing that video to other people and those videos aren't stricken whatsoever so if you have an op opinion or you appear to have an opinion that they like, well, of course, they're going to let it go. But if you have something that they don't like that you're putting out, they're, they're going to fucking fuck with you, fuck with your money or... Liberals are asshats. Now, the left are asshats. Liberals are okay. I used to be a liberal until liberalism meant doing things for everybody but your people. So they want to give Medicaid for all or another insurance plan or some shit like that that the government's going to pay for and call it free. It won't be free. Somebody's paying for that. In fact, then everybody would be paying for it. And not everybody, well, not everybody paying for it would be in it because they want to give free insurance or free health care to illegal immigrants. People who are just waiting to be sent home because they have no actual asylum claim. Well, that pisses me off. I shouldn't even be here. So that's going to fail. And it's quite obvious to me with these two Republicans winning uh, by bigger margins than the Democrats won when they took the seat. Uh, these two Republicans are, are going to kick their ass. Or they already did kick their ass. That means the rest of the Republicans are going to kick their ass. Because it's a referendum on Trump as long as Trump loses. But if Trump wins, oh, they just barely won. So, yeah, that was a referendum on Trump. They've got all of these damn polls. Everybody believes these fucking polls. These fucking polls are being put out by people who hate the president that are trying to steer the sheep who rely on polls to decide on their mind. They're relying on these polls like they did with Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton was going to stop Trump. All these other people, they're so far ahead of Trump. His approval rating is going down so much. But when it comes to voting, when it comes to election day, Trump is going to fucking stomp these people. Elizabeth Warren is the, the, the only two I'm worried about. Andrew Yang and Tulsi Gabbard. And these people aren't going to be allowed to be there because they want to go so far to the left in order to counteract how far centered the Trump camp, uh, administration is. They say he's all alt-right, alt-right. No, he's not alt-right. He's, he's right where the country wants to be, in the center. They've just moved that far over. So, the president's going to be reelected. And I have no doubt whatsoever Somebody made a point yesterday, though. If, by some chance, these Democrats do win, I'm in Arkansas. It's just four years. So, I don't know how much harm they could do to me. I know how much harm Obama did to me. I'm still recovering from Obamacare. Still. And Obama's bullshit. 
People are saying prices on shit's going up. And I'm, no, prices on things aren't going up from China except for where they impose shit on it to make the prices go up. It's not because of Trump. And you see all this stuff Trump's doing. He's got all these people reeling on the on their heels. They fucking. You got part of the old administration going around saying, "Hey, uh, just wait." Telling Iraq and China and North Korea, "Just wait. Trump won't be reelected, and then you can deal with somebody else who's going to let you do the same shit you've always been doing." If any of these Democrats get elected, every bit of progress this president has made towards forcing these people to do what's right for them and America instead of being a communist power who oppresses their people and all this shit, they're going to roll over. They're going to say, oh, I'm sorry. They're going to be like Obama. Good morning, Kenny. They're going to be like Obama and roll over it, bow to everybody and apologize for how shitty America is because they're not proud of America. They don't love America. And anybody who would elect somebody who hates America is a fucking moron. I just figured I'd let that digest for a minute. Why would you not want someone who loves America to be your president? Someone who can't say a positive thing about anything this president's done. Yeah, I wouldn't vote for them. We've got all these people saying that the border crisis was caused by Trump. I've still, yesterday, had someone fuck with me saying that the president is putting kids in concentration camps. Those children have never had it as good as where they're at in these in these uh, facilities. They're not concentration camps. It's like a giant fucking daycare facility. They're saying these children are traumatized by being separated from their parents. No, they're not traumatized by being separated with their parents. They're being traumatized by the trip. Do you think these people who would rape a 12-year-old little girl would care if their parents or their children, their siblings, saw it? Or didn't know what's going on? They don't care. These people leave babies in the middle of the desert so that they can get away. And that's another thing. Seeking asylum... We need to change the laws. Listen, you got somebody who wants to go through the border in the middle of the desert hoping to find someone to go, Oh, I surrender. Please take me into custody. I want to claim asylum. If they actually wanted to claim asylum, they could save themselves a shit ton of money by following a road to a border crossing, to a legal port of entry. That would expedite their shit. If they have an actual asylum claim, they would get done faster. They don't run the risk of dying in the desert or crossing the Rio Grande. They don't have to pay people for it. They don't have to fuck anybody to get over here. So they need to change that law. You should not be able to seek asylum anywhere but at a legal border crossing. Because there are enough of them. And it's safer. And it's better for them. The only reason why Democrats want you to be able to claim asylum, or want them to be able to claim asylum anywhere on the border is when they get caught trying to sneak in, they, can, they have a, a contingency. Which is bullshit fix that shit. There are people dying. They're worried about people dying. People are dying. Flavored vape. 
Now I know the president thinks he's doing good. He's been advised and all this. The vape that's killing people is the THC with other shit added into it. The vape that's harming people is that. It's not the shit that people have been using for 10 plus years going around to these competitions blowing smoke rings that they can move around with their hands and so there are people who have practiced so much with this they this guy steered a smoke ring i don't know some of you have seen that video but how come those people aren't having issues no well, my opinion vaping is not a substitute for smoking it's a way to get off because that's how i quit but there are some people who just use it like another like a drug like a cigarette it is a drug But flavors are not directed at children. Flavors are for people who want flavors. Adults like flavors too. All right, I'm gonna get off here. I love you, I care about you. You have a great weekend. I'm gonna do some work on the motorcycle this weekend, some painting wrapping the pipes and all that shit. I hope it works out and looks good. I don't have to redo it because basically I've done this motorcycle twice already. <laughs> do something and not like it. I hated the Springer seat. God, that sucked. So I altered the seat that was on it. Tune in. I love you. Have a good one. Little doggy.